Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Sometimes it's hard to pick and choose which of these, you know, links to put a video up for, but I think I better do this one because it's a kind of a retraction. Let me read it to you. It's um, in BBC News this time, and it says, Coronavirus, Oxford University to resume, resume vaccine trial after pause. Okay, then there's a picture of a girl working on, you know, lab stuff. Trials of a COVID-19 vaccine being developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford University will resume after being paused due to a reported side effect in a patient in the UK. On Tuesday, I'm surprised they called her a patient, reported side effect in a, should say, trial volunteer. Anyway, moving on. On Tuesday, asked, but I guess she became a patient, didn't she? On Tuesday, AstraZeneca said the studies were being paused while it investigated whether the adverse reaction was linked with the vaccine. But on Saturday, the university said it had been deemed safe to continue. Health Secretary Matt Han Hancock welcomed the news that the trials would resume. Yeah, I'm sure they want to see if anybody else is going to do that. Wouldn't you, if you were running this? Wouldn't you want to know if more people are going to do that? And who knows if it's permanent. Not mentioning it. Let's read on and see if they say. This pause shows we will always put safety first. We will back our scientists to deliver an effective vaccine as soon as safely possible, he added. The university said in a statement that it was expected that some, quote, some participants will become unwell, unquote, in large trials such as this one. It was expected that some would become unwell. <clears throat> yeah, let's not use the word sick. It sounds worse. I wonder if it's permanent. It added that the studies could now resume following the recommendations of an independent safety review committee and the UK regulator, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. Oh, yeah. They said resume, so let us forge ahead. UK must avoid party weekend. What? The UK, in quotes, must avoid party weekend, unquote, ahead of new rules. They got to stop partying on the weekends. No. Only do it Monday through Friday. I'm just kidding. Oxford vaccine trial paused as participant falls ill. Oh, these must be links to not other articles. Because then it says Oxford coronavirus vaccine triggers immune response. Now that's what they want. It would not disclose information about the patient's illness for confidentiality reasons. Well, didn't they tell us she had a severe spinal inflammation? Oh, well, moving on. It would not disclose the information about the patient's illness for confidentiality reasons. But the New York Times reported that a volunteer in the UK trial had been diagnosed with transverse myelitis. 
an inflammatory syndrome that affects the spinal cord and can be caused by viral infections. Hmm. I'm not familiar with transverse myelitis, but nobody that doesn't study it knows what myalgic encephalomyelitis is, also caused by vaccinations. The World Health Organization, or WHO, says nearly 180 vaccine candidates are being tested around the world, but none has yet completed clinical trials. Hopes have been high that the vaccine might be one of the first to come on the market following successful phase one and two testing. Its move to phase three testing in recent weeks has involved some 30,000 participants in the U.S. as well as in the U.K., Brazil, and South Africa. A. Stop scratching. Okay, let's see. Oh, in South Africa. Phase 3 trials in vaccines often involve thousands of participants and can last several years. Yes, exactly. Several years. The government's chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Hold on. Valiance, I think, or Valance, I, I'm not sure, told the Downing Street Press Conference on Wednesday what had happened in the Oxford trial was not unusual. Hmm. Risk of, now this is a subtitle, risk of losing control. The news comes after Professor Sir Mark Walport, a member of the government's scientific advisory group, SAGE, warned the UK was on the edge of losing control of the virus. Seriously? He told BBC Radio's Four's Today program, I guess that's the name of it. It's a number four, apostrophe S, Four's Today program, quote, You've only got to look across the channel to see what is happening in France and what's happening in Spain, unquote. Official figures released on Saturday showed a further 3,497 people have tested positive with the virus in the UK. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You can test positive and 45 to 48% here in the U.S. are totally asymptomatic. People need to get over it and stop making more out of it than what it is. Did I say that? Well, I guess it's on video, so I have to admit it. It is the second day in a row that number of daily reported cases has exceeded 3,000. It brings the overall number of confirmed cases so far to 365,174. Meanwhile, the government figures revealed that a further nine people have died within 28, a further nine people, oh, nine, well, I'm sad for their families, but nine, really, a further nine people 
have died within 28 days of testing positive for COVID-19 bring the UK death toll to 41,623. And I wonder if their numbers are correct. Well, you know, that makes it sound like, oh, I don't feel so good. I think I got a little bit of a runny nose. <coughs> this cough is just getting a little aggravating. I think I'm going to go get a COVID test. They get tested, and within 28 days, they're dead. That's what it sounds like. Is that not what it sounds like they're trying to... I bet these are people that stayed at home sick, thinking, oh, it's just a cold. Oh, I guess it's just a flu. And before long, they couldn't breathe very well, so they decided to go to the ER. That's probably what happened. So within 28 days of that, they passed away. And they might have been old. But they don't tell us that. Okay, then there's um, confirmed cases rising steeply in the UK. I'll just put a link. Y'all can read the graphs yourself. And then there's some other, um, I guess you'd call it like a graph. And some more stuff to read. Okay, so I'm going to end it here and say let's all just, I don't know. Stay in prayer that we don't catch it. And trust in the Lord with all our heart. And lean not on our own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. And He will direct your paths. Let's see, that's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, I think. Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. I'm pretty sure. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Okay. I'm out. Have a wonderful rest of the day or morning, wherever you live. Bye for now.